Hi, I'm Jennings Brown with Popular Mechanics, and I'm here today with Ron Jewell from uh, Correlated Magnetics Research, and he brought in this uh, magnificent machine, the Mini Mag Printer. So, uh, Ron, can you tell me a little bit about how this thing works? Thanks, Jennings. I, I will, yes. Uh, so the news is, is we've invented a way to make magnets better. We make better magnets. We make them stronger than a, a conventional magnet. We make them safer. We can make them behave as springs. We can make them behave as latches. Uh, or you can make them behave as alignment devices and so forth. And we do that with this integrated setup. It's, a, it's hardware and software uh, that work together to create what we call polymagnets. It's a system of smaller magnet elements. Good name for the, for the device because uh, it reflects what's uh, actually on the, on the material. And what we've got uh, with this uh, software environment is a pre, uh, our catalog of pre-engineered uh, devices. So if you need to uh, have a, uh, devices that, uh, magnets that align at 120 degrees or 180 or every 90 degrees, you can pull it right out of the library and print those magnets uh, in a matter of, of, sec of seconds. Um, you can also uh, use the pattern editor to create your own, uh, the own devices. And typically the way we see people operate is they will start with a magnet pattern that's pre-engineered and then maybe make modifications. You may want to make it uh, the field reach uh, farther or, or closer to the magnet surface. You might want to change alignment positions, uh, increase the strength of the spring or the latch and so right. forth. Now I'm, I'm a huge geek, so I love the idea of being, being able to manipulate my own magnets and create my own magnets, mm -hmm. but who else uh, has, been, has, has expressed interest in having this technology? Great question, yeah. It's really, uh, the answer is it's, it's across all the industrial sectors. Uh, you know, it's the, the, the standard eight or nine you might list, automotive and aerospace, uh, electronics, consumer goods, construction, energy, uh, uh, transportation, security, uh, robotics, and so forth. We're getting uh, inquiries from all of those uh, areas because uh, high energy, uh, rare earth magnets are being used in systems and, and processes throughout those, those industry, uh, industries. All right, so let's, uh, let's make a polymagnet. Okay. I have here a um, uh, one inch by one eighth inch um, mm -hmm. blank magnet. I'm just going to open the door and we're going to put the, uh, the blank magnet into the print tray firmly. Close the door. We have a, a variety of trays to fit the variety, uh, you know, the large variety right. of magnet form factors. They could be rectangular and triangular and hexagonal and so forth. So we've got the magnet in place and uh, I've got the green light so I'm just going to hit print. It gives me one last chance to bail out. Mm -hmm. I'm saying okay. So what you'll hear is the um, print head finding the magnet uh, surface right. and then the XY uh, linear actuators are actually moving the, the platform around underneath the print head and on the screen here you can see as the magnet, as the maxil, the magnetic element is posited in the, right. uh, in the magnetic material, it shows up on the screen, so you can kind of watch the process. Right. It turns out that uh, the order you print in uh, is useful, oh. so you have total control over that. Uh, you have control over polarity, location, uh, the amount of saturation, and so forth. So it, it becomes very, very easy to print a very complex magnetic device right. just uh, by driving the software. So now when the process is finished, uh, you can hear the tray move to its uh, access port. There you go. Uh, the fan will turn off, the, the door is unlatched, and I'm free to get the device. So if you do me the favor, sure. pull that out. We, have that, we now have a polymagnet, just a matter of a few seconds. You can see through the uh, magnetic viewing film that the uh, pattern is there. This is the very complex polymagnet device that you just created. Wow. So I've actually been tinkering with this thing all day and uh, making a, a few of my own magnets. And I have to say, uh, one of the favorite, one of my favorite things I made today, I didn't know that um, magnets could function as springs. So uh, Ron, tell me a little bit about, about what's, what's going on here. Mm -hmm. So uh, what you've got done is you've pulled the um, uh, spring, one of the spring patterns uh, pair, it's a polymagnet pair, out of the function section of the polymagnet mm -hmm. catalog. And so you printed uh, magnet A and magnet B, put them in this device, mm -hmm. and what's happening is, as you can see, um, there is a, there's both attract and repel forces uh, going on simultaneously. So mm -hmm. it's at equilibrium, and as you move it along that channel, uh, the attraction force makes one magnet follow the other, but yet there's a, a repel force that keeps them separated. Wow. All that is, is engineerable because you have uh, you know, almost digital control over the over the magnet, magnetic field that results right. because you have control over the maxils. Wow. 